Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we shall discuss the PT2 biology question paper of uh, class 9 of Mahashi Vidya Mandir. So, uh, this exam was conducted during September 2022 and um, before discussing the question paper, I would like to say that all these questions has been taken directly from the NCRT textbook. Okay, so if you go to the book thoroughly or if you study the book thoroughly, then I'm sure you'll be able to answer all these questions correctly. Okay, so with that note, let's start the video. First question here is one word answer questions. So all these questions carries one mark each. So first question here is plasma membrane is made up of which two components? So plasma membrane is made up of two organic molecules called lipids and proteins. Okay, so next question number B. Name the only cell organelles seen in the prokaryotic cell. So here the right answer is ribosomes. So prokaryotic cell has only very small ribosomes as cell organelles. So both these questions were from the chapter, the fundamental unit of life. Okay. Then uh, moving on to the next question, 1C. So where are the epithelial cells with cilia? found so this question is from the uh, chapter tissues and epithelial cells with cilia are found in the respiratory tract okay so next question what is the lining of kidney tubules made up of so this here the right answer is the cuboidal epithelium so cuboidal epithelium uh, may, makes up the lining of the kidney tubules and apart from this cuboidal epithelium also forms the uh, ducts of the salivary gland Okay, so question number 1, A, B and C. So, these are the right answers. Then moving on to the next question, question number 2, give short, uh, short answer questions. Okay, here is question carries 2 marks. So, first question here is give 3 features of the cardiac muscles. So, this is from the chapter tissues and if we have to write the 3 features of cardiac muscles, we can write as, so they show rhythmic contraction and relaxation throughout the life. Okay, first point. The second point is they are involuntary muscles. Involuntary muscles means those muscles whose uh, functionings cannot be controlled. So, next point we can write about the structure of the cells. Okay, so the cells of the cardiac muscles are cylindrical, branched and uninucleate. Okay, that uninucleate means if they have only one nucleus. So, these are the three features of cardiac muscles. Then next question is tissue A and tissue B constitute tissue C. So, A carries water while B carries food for the plants. Identify A, B and C. So, this is also from the chapter tissues and here they are talking about the plant tissue. Now, since A carries water, so A will be xylem and since B carries food for the plants, so B will be phloem. So, both uh, xylem and phloem constitute the vascular bundle. Okay. So, xylem and phloem are both uh, conducting tissues or we can also say that they are complex permanent tissues. Okay, so xylem and phloem both constitute vascular bundle. A is xylem, B is phloem, and C is the vascular bundle. The next question, uh, question number two, C. Where are proteins synthesized inside the cell? So proteins are synthesized in the ribosomes. Now these ribosomes are located in the endoplasmic reticulum. So uh, ribosomes are particles which are attached to the surface of the endoplasmic reticulum. So, such ribosomes, uh, so such endoplasmic reticulum where ribosomes are attached to its surface are called uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum or RER, okay. And those ribosomes where uh, this, uh, sorry, those endoplasmic reticulum where ribosomes are not attached to the surface are called smooth endoplasmic reticulum, okay. So, furthermore, we can also write the manufactured proteins Okay, the manufactured proteins means proteins which are synthesized in the ribosomes are then sent to the various places in the cell depending on the need of the endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, so after question number C, to C we have question number 2D, what are involuntary muscles, where are they found? So involuntary muscles are those muscles whose functioning cannot be controlled and they are found in the iris of the eye in the ureters and in the bronchi of lungs okay so this answer is sufficient for question number two d what are involuntary muscles where are they found okay then moving on to the next question our uh, short answer questions so here is question carries three marks so differentiate between straighted unstraighted and cardiac muscles on the basis of the structure and site or location in the body so we can write this difference as as such like on the basis of structure 
so the striated muscles are long cylindrical and branched and multinucleate okay nucleus which are uh, cells which has more than one nucleus that is multinucleate then what about unstriated muscle tissue so this muscle tissue cells are uh, spindle shaped the meaning of spindle shaped is cells with long and pointed ends and then uh, cells of cardiac muscles are cylindrical branched and uninucleate okay so this is other differences between striated unstriated and cardiac muscles on the basis of the structure so what about on the basis of location in the body so striated muscles are present in the limbs unstriated muscles are present in the areas of the eye in the ureters and in the bronchi of lungs and cardiac muscles are present in the heart okay so this is the complete answer for question number 3a next is question number 3b what is the role of epidermis in plants okay so epidermis is the outermost uh, layer of the uh, plant cell okay so it the main role of the epidermis is to give protection so we can write this as such the outermost layer of the cell is called epidermis the entire surface of the plant has an outer covering called epidermis it protects all parts of the plants so epidermal cells on the aerial parts of the plant often secrete a waxy water resistant layer on their outer surface so aerial parts of the plant means the plant part which is present above the ground so the epidermal cells on the aerial parts of the plant secrete a waxy resistant layer what is the function of this waxy resistant layer it aids in protection against loss of water mechanical injury and invasion by parasitic fungi okay so this is a very important point so after this next is in the epidermis of leaves there are small holes called stomata okay so what is the role of stomata the role of stomata is exchanging gases and also for transpiration what what are the gases that their plants are exchanging this is carbon dioxide and oxygen during photosynthesis okay and transpiration is the loss of water then the role of epidermis in roots is to absorb water so in roots the epidermis uh, you know are uh, has some hair like projections okay so to facilitate more absorption of water from the soil then in desert plants epidermis has a thick waxy coating of cutin so this may be because of the uh, to minimize the loss of water from the plant body in such type of plants especially in desert plants okay so this is the answer to the question what is the role of epidermis in plants next question is how is a plant cell different from animal cell so here a difference between the plant cell and animal cell has been asked so plant cells are rectangular in shape animal cells are irregular or round in shape then plant cell has a cell wall animal cell does not have a cell wall so a large vacuole is present in plant cell and in animal cell has got small vacuoles so plant cells in plant cells plastids are present and in animal cells plastids are absent so plastids are present in plant cells because chlorophylls are present in plastids which aids in a uh, photosynthesis okay so animal cells does not perform photosynthesis so plastids are absent in animal cells also you can uh, give a diagram of plant cell and animal cell to support your answer okay then after question number 3c there's question number four long answer questions okay so this question carries four marks so first question is what is a neuron write the structure and function of a neuron so this question carries four marks so what is a neuron the cells of the nervous tissues are called nerve cells or neuron so you have to uh, give a diagram to support the answer so a neuron consists of a cell body this is a cell body with a nucleus and a cytoplasm now this cell has very uh, has uh, you know a thick hair like parts okay from this cytoplasm hair like parts comes out and these parts are known as dendrites and also the cell has a long part this long part is known as axon okay so an individual nerve cell may be up to 1 meter long okay so this is about the structure of the uh, nerve cell along with a diagram the next what is the function of a neuron so neuron gets stimulated and transmits the stimulus very rapidly from one place to another within the body okay so this is the function of neuron so this is about question number 4a what is a neuron write the uh, structure and function of a neuron so this is the answer provided you support the answer with a diagram okay then you will get full four marks next question meristematic cells have a prominent nucleus and dense cytoplasm but they lack vacuole why 
now meristematic cells are actively dividing cells okay therefore they will require a uh, i mean they have a uh, dense cytoplasm and and a prominent nucleus okay now this meristematic cells are actively dividing so they do not participate actively in food preparation so since they do not participate actively in food production there will be not much amount of waste in the plant cells so such type of plants where there is active cell division a vacuole is generally absent okay so moreover one more point we can write here so vacuoles occupy 50 to 90% of the cell volume so since meristematic cells are actively dividing cells if 90% of the cell volume is occupied by a vacuole then there will be some distraction in the cell division the cell <coughs> this vacuole may interfere in cell division okay so these are the points uh, to answer why there is a lack of vacuole in a meristematic cells okay the next question here is what are the functions of areolar and adipose tissue now areolar and adipose tissue both are connective tissues and uh, what are the functions of areolar tissues areolar tissue supports internal organs and helps in repair of tissues and the function of adipose tissue is it stores fats and acts as an insulator okay so these are the main points or the to answer that is function of areolar and adipose tissue now this whole question 4b1 and 4b2 contains four marks okay so this was all about uh, the question paper or biology question paper of pt2 of class 9 of maharshi vidya mandir hope you like the video if you like it if you find it beneficial please do share with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much